I think the thing that I've learned most in my life as it relates to the time spent on a tennis court trying to be the best in the world at something is that failure and success is just an illusion. You know, I went to number one in the world thinking that that was going to be the end all, thinking that, you know, making my dad happy about achieving that goal would somehow satisfy some deep place and make me love what it is I did or make me engage with what it is I did. And, and the truth is it didn't. I got to number one in the world and I'd, I'd never been so disconnected as I was at that point in my life. And so as a result, I spiraled. I fell to 140 in the world. Everybody was shocked uh, except me. I knew every decision I was making daily that was leading me in the wrong direction. And when I got to the bottom, I had a big decision to make. Either I was going to quit or I was going to start over. And that's when I decided to take ownership of my life. I decided to find my reasons for playing, and I did. And I went to work every day by setting daily goals and telling myself, I don't know if I'll ever be back to number one, but I know one thing I can do, and I can be better than I am today. I know that I can, I know I can be better. I know I can control what is in my control, which is my work ethic and my discipline and my focus and my relentless spirit of trying to make myself that one day better. And in doing that, I had never been so connected in my life and, and not believing that I'd ever reach number one in the world again. One day led to the next, built a lot of momentum. And when I finally got back to the top, it wasn't the same as being at the top the first time. I felt like I was really engaged, but no more engaged than I was at 140 in the world. What I learned mostly through that journey is pretty simple. Failure and success is an illusion. The only thing that's a reality is the way you choose to engage with your life today on a daily basis. So I hope you wake up every day with certain goals and objectives and you don't let tomorrow affect what you're doing today and you don't let yesterday affect it. There's a reason why the front window in our car is a lot bigger than our rear view mirror, you know, but if we don't take care of the engine, if we don't take care of how we're, how we're living, we won't, we won't get to what's in front of us. So focus on today, enjoy making yourself better, and God bless.